Get ready to scramble your way to success in this video. We are diving into the ins and outs of egg production and marketing strategy that will leave you feeling ecstatic. We are covering it all. Get ready to elevate your egg game. So the first segment here is egg production. And let me introduce you to those birds that laid those beautiful eggs. We have the Legon breed, the Rhode Island red breed, we have the Bad Plymouth Rock breed, we have the Issa Brown breed, and so on. So those laying bed require 16 to 18% protein in their feed. So when you are going to your feed store, when you are getting your feed, make sure you check this requirement, 16 to 18% protein. You check the label of your feed brand, any feed brand you get. Make sure you check the label and look at the protein level in your laying feed. Also, for their health, you need to vaccinate your bed. Vaccination is to prevent disease, so you need to vaccinate them. We have vaccine like Marek vaccine, we have the infectious bronchitis vaccine, and we also have the 3 in 1 vaccine. That one is uh, against egg drop syndrome, and so on. We have many vaccines like that, so you need to vaccinate your bed at the right time. Also, you need to prevent disease. You need to use probiotics for your bed to prevent disease. Those things are the factors that will make you have a high production. So, you need to vaccinate them, you give them probiotics, you also can give them antibiotics so that you can prevent them from coming down with disease that will lead to their mortality also there are some environmental factors that can affect your egg production just like lighting so you need to provide 14 hours of light per day for your bed for optimal egg production so many farmers provide 12 hours of light that means from let's say 7 to like 7 that one is 12 hours but you need to give them extra 2 hours of light we have a solar you can put on your solar even here in coca farm we are planning to do that so you put on your light two extra hour in the morning or in the evening you introduce it to them so that they can eat till that time that one we increase the production of your egg research has shown that this used to increase the production of your egg when you give them extra two hours of light that means two hours of light supply which is the natural light you need to introduce two hours of light supply which is like total of 14 hours of power supply for your bed environmental factor that can affect them is like stress when you stress your bed too much when you allow stranger to come into your farm every now and then you just stress them anyhow you know when the bed sees stranger they tend to react or you bring in a strange object into the farm they can react to it and that will reduce your production that will stress your bed out that day or the day after you will see that your production will be low so reduce the rate of which you stress your bed so the second segment is egg collection and grading so you need to collect your egg twice a day to prevent breakage if you are using battery cage or deep litter system like me in, on the farm here because my beds are exposed to my egg every time i collect them more than twice daily that's just the truth because if i come late if i want to collect them like one time or twice i discover that there's a lot of breakage like a lot of loss what's the essence when my bed lays at the same time they break my head maybe by jumping or something and even if you are using battery cage system you need to collect them twice daily not once twice to prevent all those breakage before they could break it you have collected your egg and also when collecting the egg you need to undo them gently you know it's egg when your egg falls down in your hand it has broken it's gone already so there's nothing like uh, it fell down and it's not broken nobody used to buy crack egg on the farm actually some people used to buy crack egg but let's say you are selling your egg for three thousand for example they'll be pricing your crack egg at one thousand per crate so you need to avoid that crackage by handling it gently also you need to make sure that your egg is quality is very clean and neat there's no how you will not see egg on the farm that the bed has poo on it so when trying to clean the poo on your egg make sure you clean it with a clean cloth just put it a little bit inside water and clean it please please avoid cleaning your egg inside water so who would want to clean their egg they'll just go and put their egg and start rinsing it inside water start rinsing the egg inside it will spoil no water pour on your egg every time the quality will reduce it might not spoil immediately but believe me the shelf life have reduced like that if you sell the egg out before one month they'll be complaining that your egg is not good that's because you are not taking proper care of it you allow rain to fall on it you allow water to spill on it and when you want to clean the poo on the egg you also you yourself also put the egg inside water and rinse it no it's not done that way so you need to take note of all these things so that you have a healthy egg more production the top segment here is marketing strategy under it we have pricing you need to go out and check the price of your competitor that's the farmers around you look at how much they are selling their own eggs so that you don't sell below your competitor's price or above your competitor's price so you have to be in between so you need to go and check oh how much are you selling your egg now how much are you selling your egg now you need to go and check visible price of the egg in the market and also have a sale channel who are you going to sell your egg to 
you want to be selling to, to consumer or you want to be selling to the supplier those are the people that will come and buy in bulk from you and go and sell to the consumer directly if you want to be selling to the consumer directly make sure that the price you are selling to the supplier are not the same thing you are selling to the consumer give the supplier a discount price because they'll come to pack in bulk they can buy like 200 crates 500 crates 1000 crates at once let's say in a week or if you are selling to final consumer those one can be buying like 10 crates 5 crates you know all those small small they want to consume it so make sure the price you are selling for the consumer is different from the price you are selling for the supplier you understand what i'm saying so you need to do your pricing and it says channel well you can go online put your videos online go to tiktok youtube instagram facebook you can advertise your egg online and people will come for you they will come for you from online in coca family we have many customers that have come from the internet to us here so that's our sales channel you need to have a sales channel let me tell you something we have two seasons in this egg business we have the season of the scarcity and the season of the growth the season of the scarcity is a time whereby eggs are more than the consumer the demand for egg is more than what every farm can supply worldwide or around the globe many people will be looking for eggs everywhere they want to buy egg that season of scarcity used to happen when the college university primary school secondary school when they are on session we used to experience the season of scarcity we farmer love the season of scarcity very well because that means many people will be coming for our egg and will be like oh we don't have egg we don't have it. they'll be begging you begging you mind you there'll be season of glut too so you need to be prepared for the season of glut this is a period whereby eggs will be much on the farm nobody to buy it this always fall in the time when school are packeted the consumption of egg will reduce at that time it's happened here in nigeria every time and it's happened around the world too it might not even be the students actually it might be a crisis let's say the nation is going through one crisis or the other here in nigeria we used to experience that like two times in a year or more safe during the covid 19 in nigeria it was really hectic during the lockdown we have the lockdown in nigeria too it was really hectic too we experienced glut then also in nigeria during cashless policy when they are trying to change our currency when there was no cash so there was no cash for consumer to come and buy so we experienced the season of glut so during that season of scarcity you need to prepare for the season of glut by keeping some money in your bank so that you will not be waiting for that customer to come and buy your egg before you can feed your chicken so that your, your chicken will not fast <laughs> please don't fast your chicken during this time make sure you have a plan for the season of glut you know it's when you sell your egg you'll be able to buy feed for your bed yes that is a normal thing for every farmer but this season there will not be customers to come and buy your egg your egg will be plenty on ground in farm like that most farm has gone to extinction just because of the season of growth they could not undo it they are not prepared they bury hundreds of thousands of egg because they got spoiled they, you know egg have shelf life and when the egg has expired it's got spoiled and they have to bury them and they are burying egg you know those birds have to eat before they can produce that egg and they have eaten they have produced that egg so they couldn't sell the egg and they have to bury it that is loss and it's make many farmers go into extinction they went out of the business so you have to be prepared for this season of glut in poultry farming business you have some money so you need to go and buy your feed and feed your bed even before the customer come and try to sell them gradually you sell them little by little little by little so you don't be perplexed and you don't be feeling very tense because it's something to have egg and customer buy it and it's another thing to cut your egg on ground it's not as if you don't have good you have good but there's nobody coming to buy it so in recap we have the egg production this is when i introduce you to the breed of the bed that produce these beautiful eggs and also the egg collection and grading when i told you to be careful about picking your egg the time for picking the quality of your egg and also marketing strategy you can partner with supermarkets grocery store partner with them go and meet them and offer them a discount price and give your head to them so that you will not be stranded in the time of glow i hope this helped if you know you have gotten value from this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell that is the only way you know when i drop useful videos like this and drop your comment at the comment section hit the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye